Hi there beautiful people, welcome back to another video and welcome to my channel if you're new. Hi, my name is Femke and in today's video I will be sharing my swatches and overall review of the new Catrice Brave Metallics Nail Polish collection. This is like an extra like additional collection next to the Ica Nails, um, like gel-like nail polishes they have in their regular collection. So these are available throughout the entire year, they are not limited edition or anything. But of course, if you are new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet, I would really appreciate it if you would like to do so. And of course, welcome, become a part of my little nail family here at YouTube. But yeah, I have purchased these colors myself, but this first one I'm showing you right here, I actually got that in one of my PR packages by Catrice Cosmetics, so big shout out to them for sending it out to me next to their other like collection update products so yeah um this first one is called starry nights and it is definitely one of my favorites i love it so so much it really really looks like a starry night it is a beautiful dark like charcoal um smoky kind of base with a ton of beautiful silver shimmer in there it kind of looks more of like a glittery shimmer but it doesn't have the grittiness of a regular glitter so it's actually really easy to remove as well of course make sure you apply a good base coat before applying darker shades like these um, because they can definitely stain the natural nail plate so always use a good base whenever applying nail polishes but yeah as i mentioned um really beautiful polish i actually needed two coats for this one there were a lot of colors in this five piece collection that were pretty good to go with just one coat as you will see for the rest of the swatches and footage and so on but this one starry nights it's just gorgeous i really love it on its own but it will be great for some stamping nail art on top of it as well then the next one is called sweet as sugar and this was actually the moment that I looked at some of the colors and I was like, okay, these pretty much remind me of an older collection by Essie, which was the 2020 winter collection with all the beautiful sparkly, like shimmery kind of colors. So this color really reminded me of one um, that was in that collection. And I think the light blue from this uh, Catrice collection was kind of similar to the Essie one as well. So little heads up if you weren't able to get your hands on that essie collection definitely check out this five piece collection because they aren't like exact dupes but they kind of give the same vibe and finish um, but the essie ones were a little bit more um let's say chunkier with the glitter and shimmer so these are a little bit more subtle let's just put it to that but sweet as sugar as you could see right here it is quite metallic-y a little frosty looking as well don't overwork these polishes because you will see some like streaking going on but it was opaque within that first coat so the third one the million dollars baby this one really reminded me of the blue tone from the SC 2020 winter collection once again these are a little bit more on the frostier side and a little bit more smooth looking um yeah i really really love this color it just screams like snow and frostiness and i don't know i think this collection is a really good addition um especially knowing that like the christmas season is coming up and just winter designs are starting to pop up um here and there so yeah definitely definitely use this one for winter designs and other than that it's just a really nice light bluish frosty color um, i decided to add a second layer to make it even more opaque i really wasn't that disappointed within that first coat but because i do have longer nails uh, my nails tend to need that extra coat to be completely opaque and to not have the natural smile line peeking through anymore i do think that for most of the colors from this collection if you have shorter nails you are good to go with the just like one coat one decent layer um but yeah i just needed to and of course it definitely depends on your personal preference as well if you want some colors especially the lighter ones to be a little bit more see-through i can definitely understand that is a really nice like more natural kind of look as well 
definitely go for that if that is more up your alley. Then the fourth color already is called Love You Cherry March. Once again, they are killing it with the names. They always have such unique, fun nail polish names. I really, really love that a lot about Catrice Cosmetics. And of course, they are quite affordable as well. Um, I think I bought these for $3.95 a bottle. So they are a little bit more expensive than their Iconils collection polishes. But then again, these are more like special, more unique with the metallic -y kind of frosty look to them. But yeah, Love You Cherry Much is a beautiful, I'd say whiny kind of red color. Perfect for Christmas, of course, or just fall season or anything like that. I applied one coat, but I can still see a little bit of patchiness going on. So a second coat would be like recommended if you have longer nails like I do. Then the fifth and final color is called Every Day I'm Sparkling, like Every day I'm sparkling. Burr, 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 burr. <laughs> that was the first thing that came to mind when I read the name of this polish. I do have to say that I think this is my least favorite color, but that mostly has to do with like my personal preference and it's just not a favorite color of mine. It's a little bit too golden champagne-y, um, which doesn't really go well with my skin tone. Um, I am more of like into the silvers and stuff like that. This one is a little bit too warm, too beigey for me, but I do think that if you have a more dark um, complexion, it will suit really, really nicely. I just think I'm too pale for this color to really pull it off. But other than that, it is pretty much like really decently opaque within the first coat. And this is a color that will be really nice for stamping as well. But I do think that most of the colors will work nicely for stamping too. But yeah, this was my entire new swatch and review video. Thank you so much for watching. I love you so much. And as usual, I hope to see you in my next video.